Welcome back to another video. Um, been away, been away in Kendall with the dog, my girlfriend, all that kind of cool stuff. And for me, it was nice to get away, a bit of a break. And I am going to announce a few things on this video, what is going to happen in the future. Um, but first, I want to talk about my watch list. Now, what is a watch list? In my premium channel, this is my premium portal. So what you do is you pay a monthly subscription. It's relatively cheap. It's only £10 a month. I talk about coins. I do a weekly lesson. I do a watch list. We do live Zooms. We have one-on-one -on -one support. We do a lot um, for the price. And we also do a few little calls and signals in the Telegram channels. We've got two. We've got a private chat where everyone can talk. And we've got a, a, an announcement channel essentially for news and entries and stuff like that. We also have a full transparency page, but I'll go on in that in a bit, okay? Um, so I want to talk about this. Now, only a couple of entries for March. It was the first time doing it. And I'm going to go over it in this video what the gains would have been if you bought at the start of the month and you kind of got out at the exit points, either the tops or now, essentially. So the next one in April is going to be a bit bigger. It's going to be about 11 coins. I've already wrote it out. It's pretty cool. It's got a couple of ones that are already in this one, okay? Now, the reason why, because some of the actual events run on into April, so you can carry on, essentially. But... Fundamentally, what I look for in coins is events and what's going to happen, which are going to create a bit of a rise. Get in before the push, essentially. Get in before the crowd. You know, when you go to a football game and everyone's there, like, Ugh, cramming in. I hate that. I like to go in nice and early, get a, get a coffee and just sit and chill out. This is kind of my trading style. I like to trade on the daily time frame. I like to get in early before the crowd rush and it goes bang. When it goes bang, most people get hit by that wave and it's like, pff, pff. I'm going to show you one of the coins uh, that has obviously happened in the last couple of days that went bang and people have been burnt by it so just be wary of it wary of it so trading trading style what do i do i look at the daily time frame i look at certain moving averages i look at certain indicators and i look at the news before i make a trade i look at the news i look at the industry i look at the events what's coming up and i also look at bitcoin if Bitcoin drags its ass down, it's going to bring your coins and your bags down with it. So just be mindful. Now, in terms of long-term entries, halving on the Litecoin element there, that's a big one. That's going to rumble on for a while. Personally speaking, it's it's finishing a five-wave super cycle on the daily. It's going to it's due for a retracement, okay? Essentially, um, so be mindful of that. But if it does re retrace nicely, get a good entry in again because I've already put a video on about Litecoin, and you can probably see in the link there why i believe that litecoin will do well over the course of this next four to five months at least and maybe beyond that so let's get into it okay let's get into the charts i want to talk about mainframe first mainframe for me i think this is the most bullish one it's broken my trend line but i'm not that bothered um there's been a mass amount of volume amassing in this region here and a product launch is a big thing and they've got a product launch tomorrow in testing and then on the 15th of April, they have another one. So be mindful of that. Obviously, don't buy on the product launch day. You need to be in now. And I got in at 78 cents. It went up, didn't sell. I should have sold and went back in low. It happens, okay? More often than not, you may get burnt if you try and accumulate, certainly in the daily time frame, especially if it's popping up. And that did pop up quite a lot in that day. But ultimately, sometimes you get burnt. And you've probably found my feet a video. I said I got out early and it went up another 2,000 stats. So I lost out on another 60, 70% gains because I got out too early looking to accumulate and it just didn't happen, okay? So, you know, you got you to gotta risk it for a chocolate biscuit in some elements. But ultimately, I want to just stay in this. I think the support is really, really good here. I don't think it's going to go any lower potentially than this. If it breaks below this and closes below that, I'll be out and I'll be up a couple of percent, maybe about 4 or 5%. But ultimately, I do think this will go up a lot. Um product launch is a big thing and it's a full launch operating system launch so it's going to create a bit of interest and we're not that far away from the bottom i think the lowest it's been is 69 cents which isn't that far away from reality when you look at it um and that was a while back and it only really wicked that area so cool that's mainframe now mainframe it's a dap it's a uk company it's pretty cool um it's not the greatest in the world it's obviously just a dap but it's got so much potential in terms of where it is right now that is why I want to trade it. That's why I want to look at buying low and selling high. I know it sounds really obvious, but 
when you look at news events and all that kind of cool stuff it kind of creates a rumble and this already it yielded a bit of an interest already and um, if you look at 78 intra uh, entry up to that point was 26 percent rise i think it's on the top of that and I, you know don't hold me to it but ultimately buy the rumor sell the news media will start pushing it marketing videos will start going out you know binance founder and that you know cz he loves it so it's one of those things so just be mindful of what's happening do not fomo into it up these regions if you're going to buy you're going to look and start buying around these kind of regions or on support down here not financial advice but that's my take on it the next one i want to talk about again is litecoin now why do i say litecoin halving's a big thing now i mentioned this as buy i'm currently in tether at the moment i tethered at about 60 61 dollar 50 um, I bought in at 58 of no, 56 I bought originally and then I sold into Tether and I'm waiting for this to go down I do expect this to go down I think it has finished a five-wave cycle if it has or it hasn't doesn't matter but I do think that with the rise since December time if you go all the way down to here it's not really retraced fully it's went up retraced a bit there but other than that from this region here consolidation an accumulation essentially it's popped and it's not really gone down much apart from that one big candlestick there in one day but you know it came back pretty quickly so it's not done its full monty retracement that we kind of expect in a coin that goes up so much so be mindful of it ultimately get a good position be nice um i do think this will go over a hundred dollars personally speaking i'll find advice again but having creates a bit of a a bit of interest okay it's one of the things that happens every four years it's, it's kind of like an eclipse it's kind of like um a leap year it's one of those things where it's like, oh it doesn't happen very often but it's kind of cool um so with bitcoin as well it does the same thing every four years so just you know look for a good entry and try and hold on to it if you can and accumulate if you can i'm looking to accumulate i'm also looking to put more fiat into litecoin so it's one of those things i kind of like the idea of having more of these and i think a hundred dollars is quite a conservative entry in terms of an exit strategy but i also think it'll go beyond that it could go up to 250 dollars which sounds crazy in the bear market but it really is possible in terms of if you look at where these coins could go in terms of support and resistance so it's an option um let's look at the one that's kind of been the one that's not really done much um i don't know whether this is linked because of tron Tron's a piece of shit and I want to talk more about Tron in future videos but ultimately it's a part of the Tron network and it's 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 a great brand it's a great company from the past where we all remember using it but will it work in cryptocurrency jury's still out ultimately they have a product out tomorrow it's not pumped at all so in terms of that it's been disappointing the volume's really really shrunk off and it's probably because of the mass sell-off and the pumps and the dumps and all kind of stuff like that so for me, as, a, as, a, as an investor, I wouldn't touch it, but ultimately I would trade it. I would try and get in low and sell high. Every sat move, by the way, is a 5% gain. It's pretty crazy. So, you know, if you can get in due to the liquidity, it's it's worth getting in at these kind of regions. This is kind of like a good support-ish area. Maybe about 18, 17 sats, you know, is kind of the area where you wouldn't be hitting, but ultimately just be mindful of it. So product launch is up tomorrow. Nothing has happened, not even a pump, apart from a little pump there a couple of days ago, but didn't really go very far it kind of didn't it, it fizzled out before it even started so not the greatest um another one to mention is quad chain this has been trending up nicely over the last couple of days now you can see in terms of growth it's been okay certainly since the trend started around this region here it's gone up a bit you know all-time high of 20 percent not too bad ultimately but you know main net launch it creates a bit of a, a rise so this could go up in the next couple of days but it may also dump okay it's not really done into magic now this was where the magic moments were were way beyond in in january time it kind of went boom pop but we've not seen that yet another one is um this is this is a better one qlc this main net launch again same sort of date time group essentially tomorrow um end of q1 of the year this started trending up nicely in the end of february and we went to an all-time high of 120 percent even if you told right now 71 percent if you started from that trend point now in terms of how you you find these coins again you just look at the coins you look at the white papers you look at the news and all the kind of bits and bobs that's happening in and around the communities okay if you know that something's going to happen get involved before it fully gets known 
when people start showing it such as coin market cap um, in their adverts they tend to do that they tend to show coins that have got big events coming up like mainnet launches and stuff like that you've also got coin telegraph coin desk and other influencers on twitter that tend to have you know large gobs and they kind of give the give it away and one of the things i want to mention about litecoin is same with, with ethereum an article came out mid-february before the fork that ethereum's undervalued as soon as that article went out it went from 100 dollars to 160 dollars in a matter of two weeks they have a big influence the same with litecoin litecoin they announced an article saying that they factored in the halving on the price already and that was about 50 dollars that was after an 80 percent pump so you know it matters a lot and it's it's classic manipulation of the media where they try and get buyers in it works every single time so let me just have a little look at the watch list i think i've covered it all elf is the one that i've not covered because i've already sold that i saw that about 10 percent profit so if we just look at elf right now and see what it's doing this again it's got a product launch at the end of the month and you know the product launches tend to be the, the safest bet um and again yes yeah, doing okay now i had a bit of an elliott wave count on this and um, it played out pretty much bang on um essentially from the fifth wave and i got out I got out up here somewhere. Can't, no, I got out in the B wave, sorry, um, when it came back up again. But ultimately, it's kind of went and it sort of started again, essentially. But in terms of my entry, I got a 10% gain. Not too bad, but you know, you can see the potential here. When and they announce certain things, it starts a trend. You get in and you ride the trend lines up, and you do, you do, you do okay. You see, it's not too shabby. So even from that point here to now, 47% up to the peaks, 58%. So it's crazy gains. And all you're looking for is the news. Now, if you want to find out how to get April's list, which is about 12 coins, all you need to do is go into learningcrypto.co.uk, check out the um, the link in below in, in the bio section below. It'll tell you that. And there'll be a pop-up that says join the mailing list. All you do every month, you'll get a, a report, essentially, a cryptocurrency report. We'll detail what's happened in the past month, so what I kind of showed you in that video there. But ultimately, it shows you screenshots and certain elements of why things have happened in terms of what product launches, if anything happened or if it didn't happen. But we've also got April's list. In terms of that, that is one way of getting it. So you just get a normal list of just coins of what we're looking at, essentially. Really, really simple. But if you join into uh, join up and go into premium, now what premium is, it's it's kind of what I just showed you. It's a load of lessons. It's a load of coin reviews. You can see them all here. 19 lessons. It's, it's about 30 odd hours worth of content on here. And you get it for a tenner. It's crazy, really, in terms of value. And what you get, if I go on to premium here, if you go on to this bit, you will also get a watch list, okay? And this watch list will be put, you know, in this bit here, March watch list, and you can basically view the file, but I'll have a bigger explanation on there. I'll have why, and I'll also talk about it more in videos. I'll talk about it more in the announcement channels and when I'm actually entering and exiting trades. So if you do want to copy, not, not, not that I condone copying, but if you like the look of a coin that's about to do something and you want a good entry, you can always use my guide, essentially, of what I'm doing. It's not to say that it's a pump and dump group, not to say that it's a signal group, but people like to look off other people and like to see what they see first before they go and find it themselves. It's kind of how it works, really, in investing. If you know someone that knows what they're doing, you like to get their opinion or you'd like to see what they do a copycat really but you know it works but ultimately i kind of teach people how to get the results themselves by looking at certain websites looking at certain elements within the coin and look at the fundamentals the fundamentals are massive if you've got a coin that's going to keep adding supply to the to the to the token essentially every every week it's rubbish it's going to dilute the price but if you've got the opposite way around where it's burning coins it's going to create a bit of scarcity so there we go. Done, I think. Done for this video. This week, starting from Monday, I'm going to be doing a video every single day. I'm going to make a routine, okay? This routine will have a different video for every day of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And there'll be different elements. So there'll be a day where I'll talk about the news. There'll be a day where I'll talk about certain things. Like maybe look at like, you know, crypto truths essentially. Like one that a lot of people enjoy but a lot of people hate because i i try and call out a coin i try and go over a coin in a baddish way not such a baddish way but say for example tron let's look at tron right now the tesla giveaway probably talk about that it's a thing that people need to be aware of you can't look at every coin with your, your stardust glasses on and you can't like avoid everything your, your blinkers on so i'm going to talk about that i'll probably talk about coin analysis i'll probably talk about 
how to do certain things. So it'd be pretty good um, to get a video out every day because a lot of people are calling for it. A lot of people are asking, can you do a video every day? It's pretty cool. Um, I really like your channel and stuff. So it's helpful. It's nice. It's good to see people liking my stuff. But yeah, please do subscribe. So from Monday, I'll be doing a lesson and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every single week. Hopefully each week I'll be able to keep on top of it. And every day there'll be something different. So it's not the same old boring stuff essentially. So it'll be pretty cool. So there we go. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and obviously give it a good share. And I'll see you on Monday.